And I'm going to say we're live, Big Steve. We are live. We got picture. We got sound. Check this out. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Modern Arnie CMATS Live with Jordan Delabelle, your host, the voice without a face right now. On the mat there, we poke in the sticks is uh, <laughs> Big Steve. Evening, everybody. Welcome, Big Steve. Good to see you this week. I hope uh, you had a nice relaxing night last week of not coming in. I believe I did. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's just say you did. Sounds great. Okay, we can do that. And uh, we won't be seeing the ASMR nerd tonight. And we won't be seeing uh, Gentleman Jim tonight, looks like. So it's you and I. The original crew. The original crew. <laughs> um, let me see here. I'm just going to... I'm going to go do the techie bits. Yeah. And if you're new to this channel, do subscribe. We want to get to that thousand mark to uh, show uh, YouTube we're legitimate. And give us a like, a thumbs up on this video. That'd be great. Start us off. Be the first one tonight. Before I hit it myself. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. So, too late. I'm the first one. It's just right there. All right. So, we got that. Okay. I got to do let Facebook know what we're doing. In the meantime, Big Steve will keep you, um, what do you keep him? Entertained? Entertained. Entertained. Well, I set up stuff. Boom. All right, Facebook has been notified. Look at that, they like me today. Almost got this. How's it going over there? Good. Bigger and stuff like that. There we go. Now, everyone that's watching and joining us, we'll get started in just a couple seconds here. Uh, one of the things you can do to help us out is subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel under CMATS, and or uh, give us a thumbs up on this video. The second thing you can do is chat with us. Say hello to us. Uh, if you are logged into Google's or logged into YouTube, you can say hello. We would love to read your chat, answer any questions, laugh with us, make fun of us, have fun, enjoy what you see. But of course, safety is always number one. Never forget that if you're trying to do something that we're doing at home. I can't tell you what to do, but I can say only trained professionals should do what we're doing. I like the serious voice. I like that. It's got, very important. Got real dark, deep there. <laughs> you know, you just gotta speed it up where it's like, only change pressure. <laughs> yeah, it's like notification. You can be broken bones and sprained ankles and yeah, yeah, yeah. poked out eyes. <laughs> the side effects of being an professional <laughs> I like it. I like it. I think that'll get us a lot of views. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope everyone's smiling out there tonight. It's Wednesday night. It's hump day, middle of the week. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe it's old school. I, we call it hump day. Do people, young people not call it hump day anymore? No. <laughs> I'm not saying it's like a day to do anything. I'm just saying it's, a, it's, the, it's the height of the hump and the, now I you're understand. heading downwards towards Thursday nah. and Friday. And Nobody I know calls it that anymore. I'm well, the only one. Okay. Well, you're not the only one. I mean, people of, I think, a certain age call it that. Yeah. All right. Anyone else out there call it hump day on Wednesdays? Am I you the only I one? It? Let us know in the comment section. Very complicated term. Middle of the week. See, that just takes too much to say. That's like middle of the week. Hump yep. Two syllables. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Two syllables. <laughs> when, no, that's three syllables. Wednesday? <laughs> Not the way I said it. 
I just kind of blur it all together. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> day. Yeah. Oh, we're going to do some stick work in just a minute. We appreciate everyone joining us. Uh, again, do be logged in and chat with us. Throw it up on the uh, chat there. We got it up a big screen. We will love to talk. Chat, talk to if I can speak, we'd love to talk to you. Okay, I got Facebook notified. We are good to go. Oh, I guess I should think about what we're going to do tonight as well. Mm -hmm. I love that picture of you, by the way. Like it's, it's been a, a, a couple of weeks, but since Halloween, but I, I, that oh, picture wow. of you with the pumpkin on your head is yep. epic. Yep. I don't know if you saw it, but I put it on. I put the one in the kitchen when we were in the kitchen. And I put it on your head. Oh no! Uh, yeah, okay. I put that one up on Facebook. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. I'll yeah. check it up on the CMS Facebook. Yep. Oh, yeah. No, you don't have to check it out. I'll get your wife to do it because you don't, you don't go to your account, right? So. I don't have an account. Oh, yeah, you got it. I actually right. closed it back when you could close your account. So yeah. Maybe you still can. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think we're good to go. That's all looking good. We got our kilobytes up. 8,000, 60 frames per second. You can watch this in slow-mo later. This is great. Okay. We got a green light. Let's do it. Oh, we got the... ASM, ASMR nerd out there. Howdy, he says. Excellent. Then we got the ASMR nerd saying, pumpkin head pick is very good. Oh, he likes it. We got, we got his thumbs up on that. It was very spooky. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off my mic. <laughs> you know what's funny about that pumpkin head picture? All right, I'm turn off this mic. Okay, go for it. Uh, for those of you who uh, haven't seen it, you should go look. Because that'll make more sense what I'm about to say. But uh, I had to explain to my son that... Not every dad does that for Halloween. Because mm -hmm. he's like, oh, are other dads wearing pumpkins on their heads for Halloween? <laughs> I'm oh. like, no. <laughs> it is not what all kids or all dads do. You know? Look at that, eh? <laughs> you just tell your son, only a champion dads do it. Yeah, I didn't go there. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening to all those watching us at home, including and starting with the ASMR nerd, but we got Linda Shaw out there tonight. Oh, there she is. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Uh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, hopefully you're feeling a little bit better there, uh, ASMR nerd. Okay. So, do we do our courtesy this way? Mm -hmm. yeah, we did it. Did this, did this, did that, did that. We're here. That's it. I'm going to pull the mic out a bit here, so. Oh, hey, look at that. Almost tossed. How's that look? Looks like a mic. Does it look like it faces you now? Yes. Yeah. Maybe I should get like those ones with mics, but just have like two arms that come out like that, and you don't get to see them on the camera. For the ones with like big booms coming out right here. Just I like always right. wanted a boom mic. Oh, that's right. I remember that. We huh? did. We Drop were gonna do that. Oh, uh, we've never done it yet. Maybe when you know uh, we make the millions, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll bring in a boom mic. A boom mic or a drop mic? Two different things. Hmm. Let's get both if we're making millions. A boom drop mic. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get both. <laughs> what do you think, Ash Marner? Should we have a boom mic in here? Have mm -hmm. you ever played with a boom mic? What do you got? You got those two side mics. I don't know what those are. I got a better idea. What? When the money's rolling in. Yeah. Dedicated sound guy. Whoa! whoa I would call the mics whoa. in the backpack. You great. mean we could hire somebody? I have no idea if we could. I'm just saying it'd be neat. <laughs> Actually, we could just be out here, start, and not have to do all the techie bits. Well, that'd be weird. Yeah. I don't like that at all. No, no I take it back. No, take it That's back. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to do some stick work tonight. Let's start off with I have one idea today. That's good. And nothing else is flowing yet, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, 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 roll, with it. It. we'll <laughs> roll with it. We'll roll with it. Usually unscripted tonight. <laughs> <laughs> As per usual. Yeah. Uh, never use a boom mic. Oh. Oh, never used a boom mic. I should read it properly. Mm. Never used a boom mic, but I'm in favor. In favor. Okay. There you go. Can you imagine we hit it by accident? Okay, boom mic's out. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> so tonight, whoa, why does my camera look like it's facing really far that way? Did I hit it? Are we good? Mm, looks more right to me. Yeah. How's that? Sure. Oh, wait. Oh, there. Oh. That's good. Oop. Oh. Okay. Oh. Just looked off for a second. It's all right. I'm like at 11 o'clock sometimes, and I do a project, and I think it's been an hour, and it's been 15 minutes. Like, mm -hmm. stuff on the roof the other day and stuff. It's just really weird, my timing and perceptions of things right now. Oh. Interesting this week. Mm -hmm. I'm in, like, some space cosmic mindset. 
where nothing matters. <laughs> Super worried about what we're going to do next. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, let's go back to, because if, if ASMR nerd was here tonight, we, I would have done this with you too. Mm -hmm. And it goes to the idea of a little bit of uh, puño practice and tip control. A lot of times when you see us practicing, we practice nice and slow. But when the cameras are off, we practice a little faster. And sometimes we'll practice faster when we're on camera. But um, the idea of safety is number one. And it's always interesting to learn about what the tip will do. And if you hold your stick out for a second there, Big Steve, mm -hmm. just like that. And, and people want to go fast. So I say, if you want to go fast, give yourself a test first. Test whether or not you have control of the tip of your stick. What do I mean by that? I mean, come within six to three inches of someone's stick, you know, start slow and build up faster. And if you can stop your stick mm -hmm. without it hitting the other person's stick within that six inch range, then I say you've got really good control sure. about the tip. If you don't though, and this happens, oh, shoot, I gotta go start again, mm -hmm. okay? Then I would suggest slow down, slow down, Take it easy, develop that control. Because as you can see, we don't wear eyewear. We don't have elbow pads. We don't have knee pads on. We don't have a protection on. Or <laughs> no, we definitely don't. So, so Can't confirm. It's just keep that in mind. Safety is always number one. And that's a great way to practice it. Do 100 strikes and be like, OK. And if you hit, hit. Go back down to zero and start again. Do another 100 strikes until you understand what that tip control is about. And then we got this idea down here, the puño, the butt end of the stick. And what is this used for? It's used for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It can be used for trapping, grabbing, gripping. It can be used for hooking Ugh. behind the neck and bringing them in. Mm -hmm. It can be used for raking down the chest. Just miss the face that's okay hit that sternum and just rake it down feels great it can be used for busting eardrums it can be done with a lot of different intent and idea because this is based on the idea of I, if I am threatened with my life I need to defend myself mm -hmm. right and so there's a lot of different concepts we can do with the puño on the stick the, the butt end of the stick and puño if you want to spell it as p-u-n-y-o is that right puño yeah. It is now. It is now. <laughs> That's how we'll great. spell it today. <laughs> so what we're going to do to start off, we're going to have right leg forward. You can't see our feet, but right leg forward. And Big Steve's going to take that puny of his, and he's going to slap it right on my forehead. Oh, yes. Don't. Bam, stamp it. He's going to stamp it, not slap it. He's going to stamp it on my forehead. <laughs> so here it comes in. <laughs> bonk. So he's got his initials down there. SS, there oh, it yeah. is. It's just bonk. Okay, that's his intent. Uh -huh. And And... Keep it there. Yeah, there. there. Yeah, right. I want a red dot there later. Okay. Okay. So we're in this position, and obviously, I don't want to get stuck here. Hey, wait, if we hold a position, I wonder if YouTube will keep this as a... <laughs> yeah, kind of like a unicorn going on. Okay, there it is. That was our, that was our picture for later. Uh, for, the, for the video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so now, I'm going to take my stick in my right hand, and I'm going to go, no, no puño on top of my head. And then I'm going to check his arm, not here, but by the elbow. And then I'm going to put my puño on his hip. Say no. And he's like, no. And I'm like, okay, I need a step ladder because he's six foot eight. So I'm going to, as I do this, I'm just going to sneak up in here a little bit closer. So at least if he doesn't move, I can reach. Okay, good. Can I go back here and reach? Okay, I can reach. This is a good distance now. So I do, go to do this and he goes, stick, hand. Here he comes. Stick, hand, stick, hand. And all we're doing is just back and forth, nice and easy. Now here's one of the interesting parts. We'll do that. I got bones, you can crack my bones. <laughs> That's something I've always wondered, does sir have bones? <laughs> Yes. There you go. They found the elbow. Oh, is that what you Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's always good to. Good. It's always good to remember. Stick first, then hand. 
let this hand follow right away. So stick, yeah. So you gotta train that. In order to train that, start slow. Ooh, slow. Whoa. Come on, that's the sound of slow, but there you go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so there we are. And Big Steve and I have done this many a times, along with my other black belts out there in the ASMR nerd. And don't forget, if you're logged into YouTube or Google's, you can chat with us. We've got our chat board up waiting for you to say hi. And one of the things I love about this exercise is that people can uh, wear out their shoulders really quick. Until you realize you don't need a lot of muscles in the shoulders to be doing this. Good. Now, for those of you that don't think I was actually trying to hit him there, it's lucky he was blocking because I was trying to hit him. I think that's evident. <laughs> <laughs> Got the energy going. It's great. Oh. Get the blood flowing. <clears throat> I'm feeling good this week. It's definitely <clears throat> flowing. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's an, yeah, it's, some love there. There's a little baby pink there. Yeah, right? yeah it's a baby pink. <laughs> I'll put a little bit of that what, baby powder on oh, it. Oh, yeah, great. Make yeah. it better. Yeah. Okay. So that's the beginning of that exercise. <clears throat> here we are. Yeah, it's nice and warm now. <laughs> in, case you were, in case you were cold driving here tonight. I was. <laughs> so one of the things you can start to do after this is watch this. I talk about tip control. Tip control can also be to the elbow. So while here I come in here, look what my tip is. Boom. There's the elbow. There's the hand. Boom. There's the back of the hand. There's my tip up there. Checking that area. Boom. Right in the forearm. Checking that area. Elbow. Hand. Forearm. Elbow. And then, you can just get him to grab the edge of that knife and exactly. cut his hand. But man, do I feel better. <laughs> we got some here. Can confirm from the ASMR nerd, got to keep the shoulders mm. relaxed. Yep. Excellent. Yes, good confirmation on that. And if you're at home, what am, what am I doing at home? I put my right foot forward and I turn my hip, check, stamp, um, what am I calling this? Perry, um, block, 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 check, stamp, block, check, stamp. And this is all I'm doing. And just relax. Now, the important details of what's going on here. Checking hand. You'll notice I don't use this finger. I try not to as well. When he's coming here, my finger you'll see kind of hanging out there. It's not doing this one. This is a different uh, idea when I do stuff like this. This is also different. So, in this one, I'll do this. Because maybe I'll pop up here, maybe then I'll take it and I'll have two sticks and then I can practice my redondos. But, one of the details. Details are what my elbow is doing so I don't wear out my shoulder. If my elbow is properly located, I don't wear out my shoulder. If it's not, that'll wear out. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Uh, Elbows out there. Look at that elbow, eh? You like that? Uh, take, great elbow. <laughs> take that elbow, right? Okay, that's enough. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, elbow. <laughs> Here's my rib cage. On the rib cage, anything from here, basically besides your rib cage and back, you're very weak. But don't take my word on it. Let's take Big Steve's word. Let's see what happens here. Make a fist, Big Steve. Come on out here, right here, right about here, okay? Mm -hmm. Put it right beside you, here okay? Yeah. And just turn, turn and face me. Just there you go, yeah, there we go. Okay, so. Let's find out how strong Big Steve is when it's elbow, and, and you know what, let's give him a good stance too. Put that foot back. Oh, this, this one, yeah, 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 there you go, okay. And now, I'm gonna push against his hand and I'm gonna try and move his elbow beyond his back. Only YouTube pride is on the line here. Here we go. Is the arm weak or strong when it's beside your rib cage? Ready. I got money for you later. Oh good, oh good, okay, here we go. Okay, I'll give it a shot here. Okay, it's pretty strong, but let's just try one more. Here I come, ready? I'm coming in. Three, two, one. Okay, so without taking a step back, Big Steve, you're not allowed to take a step back. Right. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Where'd that elbow go? Yeah. Watch this again. Where does that elbow go? Ready? Put the elbow beside you. Come forward, come forward a bit, come forward a bit. Yeah, right there. 
Watch his elbow. Where does it go? Ready? Yep. Got it. Got it. Yeah. No, I'm taking it. Without you, without you adjusting. <laughs> Come on. Here it goes. Where's that elbow go? It goes way beyond his back. So what does that tell you? <laughs> Big Steve is weak. No, just kidding. Big Steve is strong. What I'm trying to tell you is that if you take your elbow now, and then face the camera for a second. Actually, let's go this way. So here it is. The elbow is back here. The elbow is here. Watch the elbow just disappear a little bit. Boom. No, too much. Too much right now. Oh. Right there. Okay. That's it. See how on this angle, his elbow just, his elbow went from here to here. Hasn't gone in here. Just went from here to here. So now when he turns, mm -hmm. and even if he has a little space between him and his body, and he makes that fist, and he puts that foot forward, and puts that foot back, Okay, well, push against me, fight me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Something's changed. I agree. Okay, try it with me now. Yeah. Elbows be beside me. Do I get to use my feet? Well, yeah, you can do whatever you want now. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna do one of these. Oh! <laughs> Okay. Fun. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna put my foot up here. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Me too. Okay. <laughs> it's changed. Something's <laughs> changed. Shouldn't be that hard. So, <laughs> so what does that teach us and tell us? Mm -hmm. It tells us that if we want to be as strong as we can be, mm -hmm. to bring our elbows in and try to do things in this area. If we try to kick our elbows here and try and do it in this area, we are a lot weaker. Sir. Okay. Look at that. Oh, I got my own emoji. ASMR nerd, Steve Strong, <laughs> with a huge muscular Ooh, I like arm. That. I like that. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. So, it's, it's so this right is there. why this is important now. Back to this exercise we're doing. Sir. When you stab me on the forehead, bam, that's going to hurt. Yep. So I go block here. My elbow stays here. And I turn my hip. I don't go like this. I turn my hip and then I check, take this, try and stamp them. Here's the elbow. I put it right where it needs to be and turn my hip. And I train my elbow not to go. Let's see if they can see it back there. You sure. guys see that way? This, this elbow way back here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it shouldn't be way back there to try to do this. It's right here. And then from that, boom, I'm coming right in, right? And then here, giving them something to think about. Sometimes we get into thrusting and playing another little game there. Mm -hmm. But what a wonderful little warm-up uh, exercise you and the ASMR nerd have done now where he's doing it mentally with you yeah, and I'm physically putting you through. Yep. <laughs> he's right there with me, I can tell. He can tell. Yeah, he's, here. he's, here. he's yeah. got the arm muscle there. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, where else does that leave us? Where does that lead us? What would that, why, would that, why would that little exercise be like a meat and potatoes type of exercise, do you think? Just because it applies to so many different scenarios. Okay. Uh, it's a base concept. That's right. So even if you start to come in here, mm -hmm. I may not um, come back to you like this. Mm -hmm. I may come back to you like this. Mm -hmm. I did something different, but I still shot you the puño. And then from here, see this hand down here? I may scoop as I open this up. I may scoop it up over here. Now, I may have done this maybe and done this, right. but there's a lot of different things we can do right here. As I've accomplished that scoop, I might just come across and do this and break that out, right? I may have, uh, I'm up here. I may come across with this hand and scoop and grab this one. So now I kind of got both hands under control because he won't want to let go of his stick and I've got good control of it there. When you try to muscle out of that? No, oh, it's a horrible position. It is. <laughs> Which way do I go, sir? <laughs> Only with that way. <laughs> yeah, no, that didn't work either. Nope. I'm flexing my bicep now. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't he put Sir Strong or something? Mm, you know? Interesting. Just Steve Losing Strong. brownie points. <laughs> <sighs> what do I got to do? Uh -huh. All right. So. That was now, instead of doing this, I just, all I did was I came in here like this and I shot the puño here. Now from here, I might just take this this way and go for a quick trap. And then I might just boom up to his head and I boom, hit him here and I've already trapped him here. He can't block that one. Not really. I get a nice freebie there. Hit him in the legs, 
whack him upside the head. Oh, he's grabbed my stick, I trap him again. He doesn't like that, so I break that off, come up here, and I go back into this one, which might bring him into a, might bring him into a choke. So we can start to really just manipulate the whole situation as soon as they touch us. That's not what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> okay. When you were getting excited there, I was like, really just mess them up in general. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sir Strong! Oh, oh yes, yeah. you can come back. You can yeah, come yeah. to class Brownie anytime. Yes. yes, two arms. Yes, yes. <laughs> I feel better. Yeah. It's only my right arm. I agree, actually. My ego has <laughs> now risen to the heights of where it should be. <laughs> I'm such a nerd sometimes. All right. So, and I'm okay with that, just so you know. I am comfortable with who I am. Where do you go from there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just in case I have to watch this later and reaffirm it to myself. Yeah, that's really your talking about. It's self affirmation. Yeah, I just go home and watch my videos all the time. Oh, yeah. Who wouldn't? <laughs> oh boy, that's a good one. And if you won't, my kids will, so there you go. Yeah, <laughs> his, his kids are like my best. If they only had like the counter go up every time they watched a video. If they did that, your videos would definitely be high in view counts, especially yeah. the fishing ones. The fishing ones, yeah, the fishing yeah. ones. Only the fishing ones. They're not watching the martial art ones. No, not really, not yet. Yeah. We're just getting to watch the fishing ones. That's awesome. They're, they're great. Mm -hmm. I like how they start reciting to me what I said. Oh, yeah. Or they start reciting the people's names that I've taken out. So uh -huh. we, got, we got Pooks. Yeah. We got Good Luck Gord. Mm -hmm. We got, um, who else have I taken out there that they would, well, there's Gilligan, myself. But yeah. who else? Do I have anyone else out there there's yet? There's one other. There is one. I'm forgetting. I can't remember what the other one is right now. Uh, their, their favorite, I don't know William's favorite, is Good Luck Gord. He likes the good luck oh, gore yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, there you go. If you're out there, good luck gore. <laughs> you have a fan. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get back to now uh, some concepts and ideas. I also have, for those of you wondering, the seminar coming up on November 26th, uh, a Saturday from like 11 or 11.30. Uh, it says 11.30 there, is that correct? 11.30 to 3? Yeah, 11.30 to 3 nice. on a Saturday. We're going to do a two stick versus one stick, throwing in some uh, potential knife stuff in there or understanding uh, combined with it and have some fun that day. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in that and you want to sign up, let us know, email us, message us, text us, all that good stuff. So what else do you want to practice tonight? Also accepting uh, invitations through chat. Ah, yes. Why if you not? want to tell us through chat you're coming, we'll, we'll get you down. We got, we got the paper up. We'll get you down. <laughs> Uh, what else? Oh, cost. Cost is $50. There you go. And I had, a, I had one of my new students that just came out the other night, and he's like, how much is it? And I said, 50 bucks. He's why is it so cheap? Mm. I'm like, that's it. You're taking over my business. Yeah. Please, tell me, what it's, go. <laughs> tell me what it's worth. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. That's great. And, uh, okay, so, what else? Did you want to do anything tonight that was uh, important to you? Oh, that's a loaded question. Important to me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, lay down and sleep. Lay down and sleep. <laughs> Get some rest. Yeah, exactly. Um, and tonight, folks, we're going to go ASMR style with Big Steve lying on the mat on his back. <laughs> Listen to him snore. Okay, for the record, you know what this makes me think of? Quick segue. Um, I am not uh, up to speed on all the things that exist on the internet, specifically on YouTube. There are apparently streams where people sleep. No. And get paid to do it. And film themselves sleeping. Yep. Live. Yep. And people make donations to play noises while they sleep or something. Okay. So I have now <laughs> been educated on the power of YouTube. If that's what you want to call it, yeah. Wow. Yep. So I don't know why. The reason I bring this up is because when you're like, yeah, lay on the floor, I'm like, yeah, we could film it. No. <laughs> <laughs> awful. Uh, I'll probably be there, but I will confirm. Oh, we got the there ASMR confirming tonight for the potential, semi-confirming tonight for the no. uh, seminar. Yeah. Okay. Great. So where does that leave us? Let's go into, uh, let's go into scratching my head here for a second. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, it feels good. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I always go back to Polly's Polly's myself. Yeah. You're, you're not the only one. Yeah. Jeremy's in the Polly's Polly's right now. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he was asking me for that the other day. He's like, I want to mm. feel a Polly's Polly's. Nice. Which we're not going to do. Yeah, I didn't think so. I was going to, I'm like, uh, <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Let's go into... Uh, oh, or Modern Trapping Hands. You let's go that. into a strike one, strike two, strike three. 
and then sweep entry. Boom. Okay. It's key to what your left hand is doing to be able to perform other things. Mm -hmm. If you're just starting out, a lot of times you'll have this happen. No matter what rank you are in any art, I guarantee you, I have taught people all rankings. They've, everyone has come across this. If it's their first time training stick, they've come across this. Ready? Yep. Where's this hand hanging? Yep. It's hanging out down here. It's like having a coffee, maybe at Starbucks or something. You know, just kind of. Yep. It's just it's doing not much. Yet these people know to keep their hands up to fight. They know in their self defense and everything else. But if you put a stick in their hand, and all of a sudden, because they're concentrated here on the learning part, this goes fizzles. Pew. It hangs out down here, and there's nothing wrong with that because that means it gives us an opportunity to train it to come back up while we're holding the stick. Sir. So here we are here, I'm going in, and I learned to keep it right there. Now, there's dealing with this idea of energies. Energies on a basic level of understanding is like this. Put your hand on my wrist. Mm -hmm. Push my hand down. There's a downward energy. It's very forceful, that's, oh. that's good. Yeah. Uh, raise my hand up. That's a rising energy. Okay, push it in towards me. Whew, what energy is that? A pushing energy. Pushing energy, sure. <laughs> Put my hand in a circle. Ooh, what energy is this? <laughs> Circular energy, okay. I feel like I'm at my son's daycare. And then, <laughs> and then what energy is just sitting right here? Neutral. Neutral, dead energy. Hmm. Okay, so if I think about this, and I come in here. Because he's touched my wrist, this will happen too if you're a beginner. You, in the first part, you'll just, you'll just start to let it go. You'll let it die. Mm -hmm. It's just like, oh, he touched my wrist. I can't use it. I got to get this hand in and, and, and watch what's going on here. Yep. So I go one, two, three, and boom, and it's gone. And then sometimes this hand's hanging out here, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> totally defenseless. I am now here to learn something because I got to get those up. I got to figure out something. So you can start to control where the person puts your hand. See, right now I'm controlling it, not him. Mm -hmm. He was just making sure that as I swept in, I didn't hit him. Yep. And because I know that, because this hand is satisfied that it has done its job, its only job as I go to hit him is to stop the hit, unless he's trained. Mm -hmm. And if you're trained, then you can take that hand and take it downward, boom. Then you can take that hand and push it really far sideways. Or you can come underneath and rise up, okay? Those are ideas that are trained. If you have not trained those, I guarantee you, when you do this, your mind is already stopped because, phew, I didn't get hit. That's how the mind works in this. This is why I love to dive in to understanding the meat and potatoes of why this art works. So I hope you're with me. If you're with me out there, say hi. Give us a little thumbs up on this video. Give us a subscription like to the channel and hit the bells and give us a strong arm emoji. Ooh, another strong arm emoji for Big Steve. <laughs> so we got one, two, three, sweet. Boom. Now I'm going to control this for this little exercise. And all I do is I just don't let him take me down. Mm -hmm. And now he's not going to attack down here. There, there's, there's no room for him really to attack down here. No. His option is attack the airfield right here because I've allowed it to clear a little bit. Or attack the airfield over here. If he attacks the airfield from over here, this is gonna take him a long time. Mm -hmm. I have already done other things to counter him for how long it takes him to get there. So really, his best idea here is to come through this airfield right here. Sir. So here we go again, one, two, three, boom, smack. There it is, that's his quickest move. Mm -hmm. Now, if he takes my hand down further, I can't do what I'm about to do. I would have to change technique to go with that energy. Sir. So we're dealing with the dead energy right now. The dead energy meaning, boom, it stopped right there. I didn't let him take me further or anything else. The airfield's clean enough that he's gonna send a, a strike through here. Whoosh. Okay, where is this gonna take us? Hmm, whoa, well, I thought about that. We could do that. Hmm. Or we could do that. Let's do that. Let's have some fun. 
So, one, two, three, I'm in. Boom. Send the airstrike in. Boom. So right now, he wouldn't really have an idea I just switched hands. It wouldn't be visible enough. Yeah, I don't really see it. There's not a lot of visibility for him to see that right now. As far as he's concerned, the stick is still in this hand. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. So here we go. One, two, three. And that's it. All I'm doing there, sweeping in, controlling that, using this, and not letting this arm die, and using it like a rising block or a high block. I could use it as a windmill and get a disarm. So, one, two, three, just to start off, boom. I just make that connection and I've swapped hands. We're just going real basic tonight. Now what could this hand do? Well, we got thrusts, we got pokes, we got strikes, we've got um, oh, compressions. Woo. That's a good one. Zing, zing, hello, knock, okay. knock. <laughs> we got cup checks, wham, you know. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> so here we are here, sweeping in, just pass it over. Now, in this will also be footwork, which we don't see tonight. There would be some footwork there. Sir. You know, a little tap dancing. A little bit of Charleston. What do they, what do they call that one where the girls practice their straight legs and... <laughs> Irish dancing or something like that? Is that... Irish jig or something? Nah, I don't know. If you know anything about dancing, let us know. Let's I know the one they do, the Russian one they oh, do. We got more we got more arms. We got more we got three. Oh nice. We're three arms tonight. I like that. <laughs> three arm rating. <laughs> yeah, that's our new rating system. I like it. So why don't you try this? Sure. Boom. <laughs> Where'd that go? Right? <laughs> right? So I took that down. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's do it again. All right. One, two, three, boom. Good. So there's not a lot of energy happening here right now. And I'm like, fine. Boom. And he just oh, blocked and switched that. and switched. Yeah. But just, just leave it like that. Just leave it like Sorry. that. Yeah. yeah. Leave all options open. And then he puts this stick ready, prepared to come at me. And I don't even know he switched sticks. Sure. One, two, three. Whoa. Boom. Okay. I don't want you hitting me. Ah, bang. Ah, yeah. One, two, three. Ah. Good. So now I'm just giving him that dead energy right here. Boom. And he has no problem clearing that. Oh, and there. switching. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. Now. You shouldn't bring it that far. Don't go for it though. Let your hand. Let it come to your hand. So when it's coming around. Yeah. As it gets. As it gets touched, let it fall into it, mm -hmm. as opposed to bringing it into it. Right. Do you understand the difference there? I think so. Because normally in the beginning, we learn also not to go reaching for it. Mm -hmm. But if I do it with you now, and I do this, mm -hmm. I just let that fall. Yep. I'm not actually um, yep, putting this. it into your hand. Yep. I'm not putting it in over here. Sir. So see if you can try that. That's really advanced. This little, here we go. Oh, I got it. He's got, we, you know what? We'll leave this at camera angle so no one can see what happens. Yeah, let's just turn this way. And we'll just, we'll just congratulate you. <laughs> it already happened. There was a glitch. We lost internet for a minute. Yeah. Good. So you feel that? Yeah, I think so. See that? But then you bring it back here, right? Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the idea is let it find, let the stick find. Let it find just by yeah. falling in. Sir. Good. So see how I haven't done anything? Yep. So you're going into automatic? Don't go into automatic. Okay. Yeah, Good. I see. But yep, got it. Good. That's it. Sir. So then now, now you're not just training this, because I feel that. Yep. Good. Yeah. Sir. That's it. Now, to make it even less noticeable, I hear this. Yes. So now I gotta. Oh, like dead then. <laughs> how do I not. How do I not hear that? Mm -hmm. I got an idea. So if I do this. Yeah. Did you hear it? Sneaky. No, I didn't. No. Hear this. Oh! <laughs> did, you that. did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I didn't hear that. No. <laughs> I felt. That sounded pretty good. <laughs> So go for it, right? There you go, that's a bit better, nice. 
Leaves you lots of ample time oh, to counter me and do things. <laughs> Whack! That's all right. That, I just planted the seed tonight. I don't totally. expect you to get a perfect. Tonight. Oh, I got it. I got a perfect. It's yeah. not like I teach you something. You have to get it that night, or else you can't come back to class again. Oh yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I'm gonna check this out for. Yeah, oh jeez. <laughs> Is there a little red spot there? Time for me to see past my. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Yeah, you got a good, I got it's a myself. Good looking well thing, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. <clears throat> I can take that. <laughs> this looks good. <laughs> Proof I don't hit myself. I hit myself all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what kind of instructor is this guy? My mm. goodness. All right, so go for it. Sir. No, I mean the hitting of yourself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And just that simple little maneuver has a lot of um, value to it. Mm-hmm. And if that's all you're practicing and you're doing that over and over again a hundred times, mm-hmm. there's a lot to consume there. A lot to play with. This stream took a turn. <laughs> oh boy. Dare I ask what type of turn? Well, I think the question is when. <laughs> Even we saw the red mark. Nice. <laughs> Oh, that's your family. That's, that's Mrs. Shaw. Hello. I <laughs> thought they would have heard the red mark. You know, I heard it. <laughs> it was solid. Yeah, yeah. So, where am I going with this? What's the next idea? Where are we going, Bells? Where else do you want to go with me? Hmm. Mm-hmm. See, everyone always thinks I hit you or hurt you. It's like, no, no, it's always me. I just never tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> All to prove a point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was talking about trapping hands earlier, but mm. how was that thought? Hmm. Okay, I got one. I got one. Let's go back into this idea of, a, of pushing energy. Let's talk about oh, this pushing one. energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is always a fun one. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, as I sweep in, Big Steve wants to show how much bigger he is of, than me and take over the center and push into me. Yep. So as I swept in to try him, he's like, no, bunk. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. That's not going to leave a mark, around. but I got my brain shook on that one. <laughs> so, the idea is I want to learn, and the reason why we do it slow and feel that, I want to learn um, how to feel what pushing energy is, first of all. So, I, I, I kind of give them a little resistance so I can feel that. Uh-huh. The second thing I want to do is I want to invite him to overextend himself. Mm-hmm. So as he pushes, boom! I, look at his, look at his arm stretch out. <laughs> he's, he's happy. He's like, I've dominated. In my voice, it sounds more like, I've dominated. <laughs> <laughs> so here he comes in, boom! And I just, I just let it, uh, I guide it so it, it um, like, what would, how would you, you describe sell it. that? How you do, sell it. Yeah, you sell it, but how would you describe that like, it's not a bonk. A, uh, how would you describe that? An impact? That? An I- impact. What a great word. Right. Impact. Yeah. Yeah. Impact. Boom. Oh. Feels good on my side. I'm not even going to say sound this time. Let's just, let's just hear it. Oh, I wonder if they can hear that. Let's do it again. Oh. Oh. No words. No, you can't. No, no, no. No sound effects. Does that make a sound? <laughs> You gotta give it to boom. Oh, I want that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. One more time. Oh, yeah. I said something. I shouldn't have said something that time. That was really good. Oh, one more time. We got, we're getting it. We're getting it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we must. You guys got to have heard that one. It's least. hard not to make a sound. Thud. Thud's good. Thud's Impact. Good. Yeah. Thud. Hopefully, you heard that. This. <laughs> Wait, what's the. Dollar sign and dollar sign and hashtag autocorrect. Oh, like mm, autocorrect. Upset at autocorrect. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, this is supposed to be thought. Oh, this is. Oh, gotcha. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I missed you last week. <laughs> the ciphering abilities. So here it is. Comes in. Boom. So I want to sell that to him, but in the end, I'm really controlling that. Mm-hmm. He has no idea. It's like playing chess. 
for those of you that play chess. Checkers, the, those no, 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 it's not like checkers <laughs> at all. I was waiting for that. I'm like, no, okay. So, so here I come in and boom. Now, what's this hand supposed to be doing? Hanging out, having coffee down here? No, it's not. So it has a destination. Boom. It should still be right here. I'm not doing this so he traps me. I've turned so now I have freedom mm -hmm. to move. So there's my next setup. I didn't stay here. Oh. So you're. <laughs> <laughs> no. Seems complicated. Oh, I'm right there. You heard the thought. You got control. And my hand is waiting. He's overextending himself. And it's just waiting here ever so, like a, like one of those, I don't know, like what are things that hide in the bottom of the ocean, kind of camouflaged? Eels? Waiting to come, like an eel? Oh, my hand's like an eel? I don't okay. know what you're It's like an about. eel, <laughs> electric eel or something that comes out of the rocks. I Sorry, what know. else is in the ocean that hides itself that you're trying to get? There's lots of things, but oh. I was hoping it came out with more than just eel. But anyways, you guys got an answer out there? What hides in the bottom of the ocean and comes out of like rocks or something? Little caves and wants to snatch things. Like a crab? Like, what do you get yeah, that? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, the idea is that's what I want to think about this. That's what that's the idea is coming out. And what am I going to do? I'm going to grab his wrist right here on the touch nerves. Mm -hmm. And as I go to do that, I'm just going to lift it up like this. And he ever so compliantly lets go every time. And so will the attacker. It's great. No. You got to have a little bit of oomph to it. So as I get into this position, this is rising. I've overextended him, and then I'm just going to bring him closer and give him a little hello with the puño. Oh, I see. This is the hit back in the ribs. Got it. Yeah, this is right there. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right there. Here, let me block like a spot. Button. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> mark here is about to come yeah, right here. Exactly. I'm being it's nice. It's coming back. Okay, we got all right. more a eel. There we go. Wolf eel. I like that. Oh, you're, you just didn't like playing eel. That was your problem with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tube worm. Totally tube worm. A vicious. Make sand your arm crab. become a tube worm. Because we're here on the ocean. Where are we located? For those of you around the world watching, we are located in Canada, the country of Canada, on the west coast of Canada in a province called British Columbia. In British Columbia, we are an island called Vancouver Island. Mm -hmm. And on that island, we're in a city called Victoria and in that area. Of Victoria and that's where we are filming this so we got lots of ocean around us on this west coast and yeah it just makes me think of it's coming off right so here but we eels go. do that okay yeah <laughs> yeah but more eels or wolf eels I would have thought of a wolf eel yeah, yeah I should have so here it is laser eel. <laughs> bam he's got it he's cocked he's ready to go he's about to let it land on me my hand was here and I gotta get away from that cuz that's coming mm -hmm. so all I'm gonna do is let this come out here I'm going to put it in the way of him trying to hit me. I don't want to do this. <coughs> Whack. Nah, no good. I want to go like this. Oh, hey. I want to just lift this up. I'd rather my hand or my finger or his arm get hit as I take out his floating rib area with a nice puño. It's light. Come on. That's, that's light. What yeah, I mean? know. It makes it worse. Does it make way. it a tickle or something? Let's go. Uh... <laughs> Anna, give him some more of these when he's cooking no, or something like don't. that. <laughs> so anyways, as we're here, there's a lot of follow-ups we have right here. Mm -hmm. We have a broken arm right here. We yep. have wrist contortions right here. We yep. have a little bit of ego strikes right here following up to the face. There's a lot that can be done right here and going off of. Mm -hmm. I might extend this way, allow him to come back and feel like he's strong this way, <sighs> bring him in this way, oh. smash him through here, smash him through here, hit him back up. Through. There's just... A lot we can start to control heading to the outside of that arm. Sir. So what do I do? I learn to give in to his force, showing him he's strong. Let's do that again. So we're like, one, two, three, oh, shunk, bunk. Right there. <laughs> and I'm over here and his stick is over there. Feels good having this. And then maybe I just shoot this up here. Shot, here. Ah. Chunk. Toss him to the ground. Sir. That would actually be a horrible toss up. That would be. But we're not going to do that. Especially if we you, like Big Steve. Especially if that's how you held on to it. <laughs> tube worm attack. That's what we'll call this one. The tube or wolf, wolf eel. The wolf eel attack. I like that better. I always find it interesting how they took a land animal mm -hmm. and turned it into a sea animal. Well, not turned it into, but use the name. Like, so I, like a, I get the moray eel. Like, what's a moray on land? No Who idea. Knows? No idea. 
Does that mean that the wolf eel is an eel with fur and teeth? Ooh, good question. Like ocean fur? Here at CMATS, we like to learn all sorts of things, not just martial arts. I'm going to Google that one when I get home. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored. Wolf eel. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> Feel that? Mm -hmm. I go for his thumb. Yeah. That's if I don't want to be nice. Oof. Then I go here. This here, this idea here, is I let this wrist be able to bend. It's all here, so I can come <sighs> this way. I, mean, I got it maneuverable. So it's just, here comes, here comes that more eel. Punk. Not the wolf eel. War of wolf eel. Maybe I could just turn it like this. That'd be a wrist lock takedown combined with almost like a side by side throw. Very sloppy. But also in the worst of both places. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, oh, oh, tap, right. <laughs> One, two, three, your turn. Oh, great. Uh, yep. <laughs> the, the moray eel technique, or the tube worm, or the <sighs> octopus. So. I like this because the ASMR nerd, I happen to know this, a little bit about his history. Mm -hmm. That he used to ride a long time ago the BC Ferries. Mm. And he would do the BC Ferries, he would do this, like have little pet puppets and stuff, and teach kids and adults about the ocean on their ferry ride over from Vancouver, the right. mainland, over to Vancouver Island. Yep. And I got to see him a couple of times, it was pretty cool. I always try to make funny faces at him in the background and stuff and try, try and, and dis up. disrupt them, but no. I, uh, I lost it a little bit there because yeah. for some reason my brain decided to take what you're saying and go, yeah, you know, he used to go to the BC Ferries and he had puppets and just <laughs> stop, stop it right, right there. there. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the old puppet, puppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's the puppet guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all he does is sit out there with his puppets and that's it. Doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> but no, it actually sounds like a really cool job. Yeah, I think he did yeah. it like a couple summers or something like that. And nice. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. Nice. All right. Bam! Oh, man, oh my. All right, we are not doing that, but that's all right. Nope, we aren't. <laughs> I'll do it properly now. It's my fault. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I thought you had to push it. Push, 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 push. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Okay, that was good. Okay, we won't show the bruises from that one. Good one. That was good. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. One, two. <laughs> Get out of here. Good. What do we got? Oh, there we go. She's admitted to it. That was a super fun job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. I think he should find if he can do it in the wintertime. <laughs> you know, head back on the BC ferries in the wintertime with all the windstorms and the rocking of the boats. And See if you can be the only one out there in the rain and the mist and just trying to teach something about the ocean. No. Oh. Hi, everyone. Come on outside. Everybody's like, it's cold out there. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. Good. Let's turn that around so they can see what you're doing. There. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Bang. 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 There it is. Right in the solar plexus. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Forcing you. No. One more. One more. We'll wrap it up. All right. Get over here. Hey, I disarmed you with a nothing. You did good. <laughs> Let's grab our sticks, Big Steve. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Always a pleasure. Back at our Wednesday nights, 7, 6.45 p.m. <laughs> We're late tonight. But we won't talk about that. Uh, Definitely did a few presentations in the rain. Hard to get people out for that. I wouldn't yeah. doubt that, yeah. No doubt. Uh, where does that leave us? In this video on YouTube, there is a thumbs up button. Smash it. Um, just with your fist into the screen, just, just Ooh, yeah. hit it. Yeah. You see it there, smash it. And then um, like, no, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. Like the video. Bells, bells. Something's bells. I never see the bells too often, but I guess so it's... So get uh, alerted for new videos. Get alerted for new videos. There you go. Um, join us next week, 645. Who knows who will be here? It changes every week sometimes. Mm -hmm. And down below in the description of this video is a way if you want to donate to the studio to help keep us uh, alive and kicking here at CMATS. 
as we were oh, severely pounded through those last two years, um, we need to continue to put the lights on. Maybe that's what we'll do. Next week we'll do like a dark class. Yeah, our lights have been shut off. And we can't afford to pay the, pay the electrical bill. I'm trying to picture how it's going to go. It's very dark. Kind of need to be able to see. Huh. Nah, just like wear blindfold. It's the same thing. Everybody come in with headlamps. <laughs> and, uh, and don't forget about the seminar on the 26th of November we're doing. Hmm. Uh, we'll all be instructing that. Two sticks on one and adding a little bit of knife work to it. Nice. What else do we have happening? We've got that covered, that covered, that covered. Oh, yeah, in that message box tells you two different ways to donate if you want to the studio. One's through PayPal. Another one is through email money transfers and stuff like that. But however you trust and whatever you trust in order to send the smallest to the biggest of donations, all is accepted. And thank you for those who have. Mm -hmm. Got that all covered? Yeah, great. All right, have we done the courtesy this way? We have not. Let's do a quick courtesy. Thank you for everyone for joining us tonight. Thank you, everybody. It's been a pleasure. And for now, I'm going to go do the techie bits. And Big Steve over here. It's going to do that weird dancing thing you were talking about. Okay, going <sighs> to practice the Highland girl dancing. That's okay, what never mind. Right. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's funny is almost everyone kind of practices the Highland girl dancing maneuver okay. when they first start out learning the footwork. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they just don't know where that weight balance is supposed yeah. to be. So it kind of happens automatically. But anyways. Nice. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you around the world for all those who watch us, whether you're in, uh, where are they? We got, let's see. We got Indonesia, we got Germany, we got down the States, we got um, Australia. So everyone out there, whoever joins us, thank you very much. Uh, we got the ASMR nerd singing, thanks for the class. Excellent. Guys. Now, here we see the human interacting with some sticks in his hand. <laughs> I'm doing the ASMR part. I got it. Shh. Sorry. It's got to be quiet. <gasps> Notice the rhythmic flow he has created in order to woo the attacker to come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you guys out there.